and I'm trying to get to her face, but there's a lot of arm in my way, right? So I'm probably not actually gonna make it all the way to her face, but I just wanna get her balance. That makes sense? I'm going for her face to get her balance, to get her center, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is drop my elbow, which she can't stop very well. So I'm gonna stand up and kind of use this. Now I'm mostly past her arm. So my shoulder is in contact with her enough to almost do the throw. Does that make sense? I've almost like taken this out of the equation. But since it's there, you kind of want to finish it. Because you can use it here. And then at the end, you're just bringing it out here to make sure they don't push back or strike back. Motion is one, two. But you see, I'm already into her balance a little bit. And then as I step in, I'm just turning this into side. Well, from a karate perspective, right, we, we might drop and perform uchi yuke, right? Karate people will recognize this as kotodachi. Yeah, exactly. I stand up, perform geno marai, and this is sort of like augmented block move. working on capturing the balance, right? I drop, stand, right? And as I shift in, oh yeah, you, you can hit him, of course. And I come up, down. Yeah. I think it's important to learn how to do the throw yes. without ballistic impact. You can always add more spice later. Uchuke, get him right, 